so Warren Buffett talked real spicy this week, man. Hey, if you're in Travis Anonymous, if you're in Travis Anonymous, make sure you get your Berkshire Hathaway shares. Berkshire B, not Berkshire A. The reason being, ain't nobody got no $400,000 I'll be putting on no goddamn stock. I put, I put that. Buffett, I feel you, dog. I'll just get Berkshire B. Did you know, question, did you know that Berkshire B is one of the most popular stocks owned by major investors? Most major investors and hedge fund investors own Berkshire Hathaway B on, in their personal portfolios. It is an amazing stock. Warren has done an amazing, I mean, let me not even play the OG like that. Warren Buffett, I'm not going to call the man Warren. I'll call everybody else by their first name, but I'm going to respect the OG, man. I'm a, you earned that for me to call you Warren Buffett, right? I'm going I'm to I'm 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 do that. Now, it takes a lot for Warren Buffett to talk spicy. I've only heard him talk real spicy a couple times. One with Bitcoin. He talked spicy about Bitcoin. He said, uh, it's a bunch of idiots driving the stock. I said, oh my God. I said, damn, OG, how you talking like that? And the next thing he said was, um, when, he was when he was getting into it with Coca-Cola back in 2014, you know, he told Coca-Cola, yo, don't, don't you, because they were trying to give their employee, they were trying to give the, the, the board of directors and the CEOs more money. And Buffett said, hey, don't do that. I've been owning this stock since it was $2. Don't you dare pay yourself more money. The stock ain't returning like that. Y'all ain't giving us returns like that to be giving no $14 billion increase. No, man, don't play with me like that. And so they, once he said that, they went and renegotiated the contract. And they ain't spend that money. They did a stock buyback. <laughs> Buffett, said, Buffett said, don't be spending my money putting it in y'all pocket. Put it back in the share price. So... Buffett went in his meeting this week um, for the annual meeting. Oh, my bad. If you own one share, if you're in Travis Anonymous, we are going. Okay, let me say it a different way. I'm going to do my best. We're we going to go to the Berkshire Hathaway meeting this year. We got to go before the old man croak. We got to go. We got to go before he croak. He 90 something. We, we ain't got too much longer. <laughs> We, we ain't got too much longer to be putting it all to next year. <laughs> we ain't got too much longer. So what we gonna do is, you know, we gonna go, we gonna go to the Berkshire Hathaway meeting is in Nebraska. You gotta own at least one share. You gotta own at least one share. We going to Omaha. We going to Omaha. You know, we gonna go. I'm gonna try my best. It's an eight out of ten chances I can make it. Unless it's on a Tuesday. <laughs> Normally it's on like a Thursday or something, though, but we won't go. We won't check it out. Berkshire Hathaway meeting, man. We won't go. We won't, we won't get in the building. So if you're in Travis Anonymous, um, you got to own at least one share to go. Um, we got we to gotta put our thing in. We going to go there, man. And I don't own Berkshire Hathaway A. I own Berkshire Hathaway B. But it's the most, it's one of the most owned stocks. That's all what Barbara said. So Berkshire Breakdown, man. So they ended 22 with $128 billion in cash. That probably puts Buffett back at the top with Apple. So he was in the top five. $128.6 billion in cash. That's crazy. All his businesses combined put out 30, 30.8 billion dollars in profit. Next, all to this year alone, well, last year Buffett repurchased 2.6 billion dollars in um, Berkshire stock. Then he came back and repurchased 7.9 billion in Berkshire stock. He said that we treat our shareholders' money like it's our money. We like CEOs that get down like that. My only thing about Berkshire Hathaway is this. There's a couple people on the board. I think the guy's name is Todd. I forgot Todd's last name. 
and somebody else that he's training, they also make some investments for him. I would like to know how Berkshire Hathaway is going to perform when Buffett is no longer at the helm. Remember, we buy this stock because of Buffett. Most people don't even know what's inside Berkshire Hathaway. We buy that because of Buffett. Here's my thing. I want everybody to know this, and I always say this. A CEO can be a moat. I just flamed y'all ass. A CEO can be a moat. I'm going to show you how a CEO can be a moat. What's good, Trappers, man? It's your boy, the Wall Street Trapper. Right now, I want to invite you to an amazing experience full of value. That is my community, Trappers Anonymous. It's 100% the greatest fundamental investing community on the market. Listen, your portfolio should be a masterpiece. And the only way we get you there is if we help you to learn how to invest with confidence. Now, listen, I get it. Like, you don't know a lot about stocks or maybe you've heard people say how much money they lost in stocks, but I can guarantee you, one, because they weren't in the community, and two, they lack the information. I will go to Travis Anonymous just to help you, really to hold your hand on the journey to becoming a confident investor, learning how to navigate through the different events that the stock market goes through. To bring your temperament down, to take you from panic to encouragement. So listen, man, come join us and trap us anonymous. The link is below. Listen, if you want to be helped, if you want to truly make money in the stock market, if you truly want to let your money work harder for you than you work for it, there's no better time than now. This is an opportunity only for those who are willing to be on the journey. So listen, man, click the link below. Come join me in Travis Anonymous, man. I will see you in one of our many classes, whether it's Moat Monday, whether it's the two-hour class we do on Sunday, or whether it's just a book club. Everything is geared toward making you a better investor so you can triple your network and turn your last name to an asset. It's your boy, Wall Street Traveler. See you in the trap. We invest in Tesla not because of the car is not a great car, but we believe in Elon Musk. And you like everything that come with it. I'm going to keep it real. We buy Berkshire Hathaway because of the GOAT, man. That's why we buy it. That's why we buy it. He's the most talked about investor of all time. He is the greatest of all time. And that's why we buy it. Prime example, Disney was having a down year last year. Guess what? Bob Iger came back. Guess what? Stock up 15% on the year. What'd that mean? A CEO can be a, is a moat. 100%. A CEO is a moat, y'all, depending on who it is. One of the reasons why I love service now, Bill McDermott. Love that guy. New homo. Apple, I'm going to keep it real. At this point now, you rock with Apple because you know Tim Cook, 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 Tim Cook is just a gangster. No other CEO manages and maneuvers through whatever political situation we in like Tim Cook. Shout out for being the first um, homosexual CEO to come out. Y'all didn't know that. Tim get into a bag. Tim got Apple appling. They go and listen. And I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna go on record and say that I personally believe that Tim Cook is 100% a better CEO than Steve Jobs. Here's why: Steve Jobs was a great innovator. You don't a brain like that don't come around too often. In the 48 Laws of Power, one of the laws in 48 Laws of Power is this: Be weary of stepping in a great man's shoes. That's one of the laws. Be weary of stepping into a great man's shoes. So guess what Tim Cook said? I'm not about to try to be the next Steve Jobs. I'm not about to try to even be that innovative. That ain't what I do. But guess what? Guess what? He didn't try to read. He didn't try to come up with the best new technology. He just went hired the. He just went hired the best scientists. And here's why I'm gonna tell you he's a better CEO than Steve Jobs. 
he took Apple stock from a few billion to a three billion dollar stock in a matter of a few years. It went to one trillion, then it went to two trillion in another year, nine months, another trillion dollars. Another trillion and a half he hit it with. That ain't never been seen before. Say what you want about what type of environment it was we was in. People understand the CEO. I'm talking about data. I ain't talking about emotions. I'm talking about money. I ain't talking about emotions. I'm talking about stock performance. I ain't talking about emotions. So before you debate me on that, go do the numbers. Go do the numbers. Go see what he's done at the realm in a shorter time than what Steve Jobs did. What he did do was he didn't try to re he didn't try to innovate Apple. What he did was he changed the business model. He changed the business model. Well, what, what do you mean he changed the business model? They still sell iPhone. Watch this though. The iPhone that you got right now, it do the same thing as the iPhone 8 did. All he did was upgrade the camera, give it a few different little functions, but it still do the same thing. But guess what he did? After that, he took the iPhone for a year. This was him setting the tone. This was him letting the people know, I'm big dog and I'm about to do something. For the longest iPhone, we based iPhone on what the iPhone did itself. Tim Cook said, check this out, we're going to take the iPhone off of earnings. The stock market went crazy. The stock market went crazy. He said, I am taking the stock Apple phone off the earnings report. The stock market was mad. But guess what he did when he did that? He wanted to show y'all that was different other things he could do. Watch this. The app store, the best business model in the world. Get 30% off everything anybody sell on your digital real estate at its finest. 30%. And if you don't like it, guess what? You can go try to make some money somewhere else. Go to Google Play. I bet you don't make the same amount of money. Go. I dare you. I dare you. Epic Games, I dare you. Guess what? Didn't, didn't, didn't happen. Not only did he do, not only did he do the, um, the app store, guess what else thing he did? Subscription after subscription after subscription. Apple became a subscription service. Guess what? Guess the next thing he did? The next thing he did after that was this. He made sure he tied us into everything that Apple does. So he made us get the iPhone. Then he tied the iPhone to the computer. He tied the computer to the watch. He tied the watch to the cloud. Guess what? We can't go nowhere. Steve Jobs ain't do that. Tim Cook did that. Go check. Oh. Oh. We still debating this? Okay. Guess the next thing he did. When he, when he took the iPhone off, guess what he told us? We're going to focus on wearables and accessories. And if you're in Trap Masters, you know I showed y'all this whole breakdown. Go look at it. The year he took the iPhone off, guess what? Wearables and the recessories went up by 35%. He took the iPhone off the, band, off the earnings report. He took the iPhone off the earnings report, and he said, we are focusing on wearables and accessories. Guess what? They went up by 30%. Tim Cook flamed our ass. And then guess what? A year later, he put the iPhone back and ain't nobody said nothing because he showed us that wearables and accessories could also hold it down. Let's go a little further. Apple TV. Let's go a little further. Apple Watch, what he did then. He got into the health game. We're going to talk about that tonight. He got the Apple Watch. Now he got you doing all kind of other stuff with Fitbit. He beating all them out. Fitbit and them been in the game. But guess what? He said, man, we about to beat y'all. Y'all ain't got enough money to play with me. I got too much money. Guess what he did? Guess what he did? He went to latch into healthcare systems and stuff. He got into the healthcare game. Y'all still want to debate me on this? You still want to debate me on this? Do you still want to debate me on this? Not only that, but he then gave Apple the most cash it has ever had in the history of Apple. Let's go a little further. Let's go a little further. He also made Apple an American icon as a business. It is the standard of American business. It represents 7% of the S&P 500, not under Steve Jobs, under Tim Cook. It represents 7% of the S&P 500, meaning when Apple is going down, you can probably see the whole stock market going down. Y'all still want to debate me on this? Do you still want to debate on this? I can go on.